guys welcome back so today um you guys can see my christmas tree is up and i did a full-on like decorate with me it was like a cozy night in so much fun so that video if it's not already up it'll be the next one up so this tree that you guys are seeing is a totally different tree than last year last year we had a seven foot tree and i don't know if you guys remember but bam bam ended up chewing through the cord and thank god it was not plugged in so she was okay and a lot of you guys were saying that i should use electrical tape so we tried that this year did not work so we ended up just putting it up for sale and then we went to hobby lobby to see if they had the same tree and this is all they had it was a nine foot tall tree which i was like i don't think that's gonna fit we have like a pop-up ceiling in our living room so it's a little bit taller but this ceiling kind of slopes so it's like i don't think it's gonna fit but it did even with the giant snowman head topper that we have it fits really good and i love it you guys but because it's so much bigger we don't have enough ornaments for it it doesn't look like as full and fluffy as it did last year so i ended up going to um, pier one and I got some more ornaments for it. So I'm gonna be showing you guys those right now By the way, if you guys like vlogs like this, let me know by giving the video a thumbs up Can you put it back my love? It is the next day. Last night we actually ended up putting the little, oh my gosh, she's so heavy, that's why I'm out of breath. Um, last night we ended up putting the little um, train around the tree. So yeah, like I said, it's the next day. <laughs> Come here, you are adorable. Look at him. Oh my goodness, you look precious. So yeah, I am going to finish decorating the tree right now with all the new stuff and I'm gonna show you guys everything. Here, you wanna hold it like that? There you go. Okay, so I'm about to put him down for a nap in a little bit. He's getting pretty tired. Um, and I have been fasting since last night. So I'm just prepping this mushroom that I'm gonna cook after he goes down for a nap. Yeah, I'm basically just chopping them up really small. That's pretty good. So I'll come back after I put him down for a nap and show you guys how I make the salad. I just put Sebastian down for a nap, and you guys, I'm so hungry. I'm having a big arugula salad. I have goat cheese. I'm gonna saute some mushrooms with a little bit of butter and just make like a really easy vinaigrette. And then I'm going to have some coffee with cream and sugar, which I had black coffee this morning and it's just not the same. That is my salad. Okay, now my meal is complete. Cheers. So let me show you guys what my um, kitchen looks like right now. So I found this super cute wreath. This is from Pure One and I actually wasn't planning on switching out my wreath. I really liked the one I had before but then I ran into this one and I was like, oh my gosh, that's adorable. And I even left the price tag on it so I could tell you guys how much it was. So $9.99 and I got 20% off. Um, but isn't it beautiful? I love it. And then down here I have my Still need to organize this a little bit better. I think I want to do, yeah, I'm gonna keep that like right there so I can tie in the black and white. 
And then over here, I have my three canisters. I got these at Home Goods. I get asked about those all the time. I think there's like a sugar one and also a tea one. So there's like a whole family of them. I have my sparkly tree right here. This is from Target. I love their trees that they have every season. And then I have my utensil holder. And then over here, I have this little section that I set up with all my favorite little um, like measuring cups, like this right here. This is my newest set of measuring cups. It is so stinking cute. I got it from Anthropology. And look, you guys, it just matches my kitchen so perfectly. I love it. And then I have these cups. These are also just like little bowls. And I got these from, I wanna say CB2 or Crate and Barrel, one of the two. I will have it linked down below for you guys. So, and then I have my McKinsey Chow jar, which I keep Nala and Bambi's treats in here. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. I got this at the dollar spot at Target and I just thought it was a lot of fun. There are little tags. It comes with four of them. And I just thought this was really cute. So I just have it there so I don't forget to use it. And I was planning on hanging this up, but I actually like the way it looks. So I'm about to make my afternoon coffee right now and I wanted to show you guys my coffee station really quick. Um, I did pick up a couple new coffee mugs for the season. This one was just so stinking cute. I couldn't pass it up. It's from Target. And while I was there, I also spotted this one. I actually spotted this one first and then this one. And I was like, oh my gosh, Target seriously has the cutest mugs. This one is from a few years ago. I can't remember who it was last year or the year before that I picked it up. And then these are actually from Home Goods. They're like a gold snowflake and it says that you can't put in the dishwasher, but I did already like several times and it survived. Of course, you guys have seen those back there. Those are from Target, but yeah, absolutely love those. And then I have my Come Let Us Adore Him sign back there that I picked up from JCPenney. These little birds are also from Target, but I got them last year, I wanna say, and they're just so cute. They're wearing little scarves and little jackets. And then this sparkly tree was also from Target from last year. They have some that are very similar this year. Over here, I just have this really pretty snow globe. This was actually a gift from my aunt. You just shake it and it's so cute. I showed this to Sebastian and he was mesmerized by it. He had never seen anything like that before. So cute. Oh my gosh, I just realized that tag is still on there. Stuff like that really bothers me. I also have all of these really pretty twinkling lights that are also from Target. And then I also found this star container right here at the dollar spot. And it says Merry and Bright, I think. Yeah, in gold letters, but it makes a really cute candy dish. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this yet. And then you guys, I had to show this to you. So my husband ended up picking up a bunch of like limited edition snacks and I'm like, oh my gosh. It's perfect though, cause we're gonna take it for Thanksgiving and share it with everybody, except for these. These we opened already. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys because I didn't know that all this stuff existed. So these are just regular Oreos, but they are, a um, like a red filling so they're just festive and they taste like regular Oreos. These are my favorite. We got these to try and they're okay. I, I wasn't a huge fan of them because they had like actual peppermint pieces in the frosting and the filling and I feel like it just tastes weird with milk. And then he also found these which we haven't opened yet. These are fudge covered Oreos. And then these are my husband's favorite, the limited edition Reese's peanut butter cups. The ones that are seasonal like the Easter egg and the Christmas ones, they always have more peanut butter in them. So he always likes to pick them up when they have the seasonal ones out. And I'm actually a fan too. I think they're really good. These are fudge covered Ritz crackers. We've actually already tried these and they are really good. Um, if you guys are fans of like um, chocolate cover potato chips and things like that, then you'll really like this. I would say they're probably my favorite out of all of them. By the way, you guys, this one is my favorite one from Nespresso. I know a lot of you guys always ask which one I buy. It's the one that's like a bronze color. So we are in my dining room. I'm gonna show you guys this room first. Um, it's not fully done yet, but I feel like you guys will get the idea once I show you guys. Um, so starting over here is my Hello, I got this from Home Goods. It says get cozy and I love it. I also have my knitted throw that I got at JCPenney. So I got these for the puppies, but I'm trying to debate if I should give it to them 
now or if I should put it in their stocking. I got them at Target and they're just so stinking cute and they're like the perfect size for them. I also got this adorable ornament. I got it at Pier 1. I got it for my niece actually. She has a white Christmas tree and lots of pink ornaments. And this is what I have on the table so far. So, oh look, I don't know if I told you guys but I ended up getting the second honeycomb vase that I had been wanting forever. I waited for a sale and I was able to get it. I would want the flowers to match. These are actually faux hydrangeas. I got them at Home Goods. They're really pretty though. They have a little bit of like sparkle in them. So they're very holiday. Um, candles right here. I'm actually missing a couple. I have this really pretty garland right here. I think it's very festive. And then over here I have my ghost table and I just have this pretty wreath on it. It's so sparkly. I love it. And uh, my friend Stephanie from SL Miss Glam gave me this candle for my birthday. Yeah, she also gave me these matches right here. They're so nice. It's so fancy. Um, so I have those displayed. Oh, and then I have my tinsel tree over here, which I am obsessed with. It's so pretty. It's from Walmart. And the snowman down there is from JCPenney. So, like I told you guys, I don't feel like the tree is fully full like there's some bare spots um oh by the way look at this picture from last year it's so precious sebastian was just a baby and then i have his little newborn picture right here so cute we haven't gotten our ornament for this year yet we like to get a special ornament every year really wanted to make it look a lot fuller i'm completely out of red ribbon so i would have used that um also <laughs> There's random ribbon just like hanging on the tree because Sebastian got a hold of some of it. But now that he has this little train, I've noticed that he has not gone for any of the ornaments. I'll show you guys what I picked up. I got a few more of those white pom-poms. I got them in red. So these weren't there last year, or maybe they did have them last year, but I just skipped over them. But I was so excited because I do feel like the tree needs a little bit more red in it. So I'm just gonna add these. I picked these up. They're like almost like a ribbon and they're silver and like super sparkly. And I thought they were so pretty. They're like a champagne color. Uh, actually, they're like a, yeah, like a champagne color. Okay, so I'm gonna put them on the tree and let's see what it looks like. What's cool about these is that you can bend them. So like they have a little bit of wire in them, just like the ribbons. You can kind of like make them look like super spread out. I put two of the little swirly things up there to see if I would like it and I love it. So I'm gonna do it all the way around, but I'm having trouble reaching. So I might have to wait for my husband. Um, but this is what the tree looks like. It looks so much better already, you guys. I love it so much. So you can see I added all of the red pom-poms and it looks so full now. I have a little um, choo-choo train. Here is my living room and I have the um, red Merry Christmas pillow. This is from Pier One. It's so cute, I love the pom-poms. And then, oh, these snowflake pillows are also from Pier One and they do have them this year as well. This is from Target. It says it's the most magical time of the year and I love it, I love the colors. I think it just goes perfectly with the tree. And then of course, here's the tree. I have my little family of penguins, they're so cute. This one is from Pier One and it has a little baby penguin that comes out. I got this one when I was pregnant. And then this one I got last year from Home Goods, and he's so cute, he has earmuffs, adorable. I have my nutcrackers, which I got from JCPenney. I got those this year. So I did do like a really pretty um, cedar wreath. It's from Target. I really like how it turned out, even though it doesn't, like I don't have that much green on my tree. I feel like it still looks really good because of the nutcracker and all that. And then I have these furry um, stockings. I've had these for a few years now. I think I got them at Home Goods, or maybe it was Target, I don't remember. And then these little baby size ones I got from Target. I got these last year. We each have one. So the only thing I'm a little bummed out about is the snowman switch. You guys might remember that from last year's video. 
Um, you basically have a plug that goes into the wall and then you plug the tree into it and then you can control the tree lights with this. And I'm still bummed because I can't find the plug. I don't know what I did with it. I already checked all my bins and I can't find it. So I am editing the vlog right now and I just realized that I never said goodbye. I didn't end the vlog. So I just wanted to hop on here really quick and say thank you guys for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And also if you are not following me on Instagram, I have a seven day giveaway going on right now. There is a winner every single day from now until Black Friday. So definitely go follow me on Instagram if you aren't. Um, even if you don't want to enter the giveaway, just come say hi. Um, I definitely interact with you guys a lot more on there because I'm there like I'm on there every day and here I only upload about once a week. So yeah, I definitely would love to see you guys over there. And um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to let you guys go and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.